guys, welcome to the Hersey House. I'm Jeremiah Hersey, and today we're going to be talking about conditional statements inside of Power Apps. So let's take a look at make.powerapps.com and get started. So here we are at make.powerapps.com, and I have this Canvas app that I've created. And as I select a different patient, they have their associated well checks in this gallery right down here. So as I select a different person, their previous well checks will come up. And notice that I have these categories. So I have the wellness, I have blood pressure, the date, the person who created the record. And then additionally, I have the, these depression and diabetes checks. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put conditional statements in and make icons change based on that conditional statement we create. So what I want to do is if this person needs a depression check, I want it to just have a check mark. And if they do not need the check, I want it to have an X. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do up here. And then additionally, what I want to do is I want to create a smiley face icon. And if the wellness level is greater than three for the last well check, I wanted to put a smiley face. If it's not, then a frowny face. All right, so that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to show you how to relate objects inside using the icons and the conditional statement. So the first thing we're going to look at is we're going to insert an icon. So we're going to insert at the top. And I'm going to choose any icon. It doesn't matter because we're going to change it here in a second. But I'm going to start with the check mark. So I'm going to bring, bring this over here. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. All right. So I have this check mark in here and currently it's not doing anything. It's just sitting there. So what I'm going to do is in the property dropdown box, I'm going to change it to the icon property. Okay. So with your icon selected, we're going to go to the icon property. Currently it's set to check icon dot check, but we're going to put a conditional statement in here to look at the patient and see if they need a diabetes or depression check. And then we're going to associate either a check mark or a cancel icon. So I'm going to kill this code. I'm going to say if gallery one. So gallery one is where all my patients are at right here. So if gallery one dot selected. So whatever I choose in gallery one relating to the depression levels, I'm going to do that first. So notice the option comes up. These are all the different columns that I can choose from gallery one. And so I'm going to check the depression levels. And if that is equal to true, so notice this is the logical test right here. Okay, this is logical test for my statement. So if the person I select in gallery one needs to have their depression levels checked, meaning it's true, then I want you to show icon dot check. Okay, so if they need to have their depression levels checked, I want to put a check mark. If not, I'm going to put a cancel icon. All right, then we're going to wrap that up. So notice I, it was a check mark, but now because Camille does not need a depression check, it has changed to an X. So I was checked to make sure this is working. I'm gonna hold down the Alt key and select Richard. Okay, Richard needs a depression check and Andy does not, Camille does not, Charlie doesn't either. So as you can see, it's going to change. Let me see, find someone else. There we go, Liam does need a depression check. So based on this first gallery, whether or not a condition is true or not, 
you can change the visibility of the icon. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the diabetes check. And because it's very similar, what I can do is I can just select this icon. I'm gonna copy it, control C, and then control V. So now the only thing that I have to change for the diabetes, once again, the icon property, in the property drop down box, I'm going to change this from check depression levels to check diabetes levels. Okay, so notice I can use the same code. All I have to do is change out that one piece. So don't be afraid to, to reuse your icons, especially if it's something that's going to be very similar. Okay, so now we have our icons dynamically changing based on whether or not they need a depression check or a diabetes check. So as I scroll through, we can see that they're gonna be changing depending upon the patient's needs. Perfect, all right. So additionally, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the wellness. Notice that the wellness goes from one to five stars. And so if the person has a one star or less than three stars, then we wanna put a frowny face. If they're greater than three stars, we're going to put a smiley face. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert an icon and I'm gonna scroll all the way down. And once again, this doesn't really matter because we can, we're gonna change it um, in our code. So I could choose any of these and it's really not going to uh, matter. But if you want to know what the code is, so let's say that I didn't know what the code was for a smile, like the icon.check was an icon. If I didn't know what the code was, I could find the icon that I want. So I'm gonna start with a smiley face. And notice when I go to the icon property, so I go to the icon property and the property drop down box. It says emoji smile, right? So what I can do is if I delete the smile part and I go type emoji again, uh, give me the dot. So notice as I start to type emoji, I get emoji frown, happy, neutral, sad. And so this is a way to kind of see um, the coding behind it, because if I'm going to change it dynamically based on the wellness of the last person, then I need to make sure that I know what it's called. So this is just emoji frown or emoji happy. OK. Or we'll probably do I'll probably do emoji sad and emoji happy. All right. So just like with the previous statement we have to reference what we're looking at so i'm going to start with my if statement and so we have to come up with a test for this all right so notice that my wellness right here okay this is gallery two so this is uh this is how I'm going to reference. Remember here I reference gallery for the check mark and the cancel icon. I reference whatever was selected in this gallery. All right. So what I'm going to look at is I don't really care about what's selected. All I'm worried about is this first record right here. Okay. So all I'm worried about is this first record. I don't care about these. I want the smiley face. If the last time they came in, they had a great wellness, I want to put a smiley face. So I only want to look at this first record. So we're going to use a conditional statement with the first command. Okay. So what we're going to say, and we'll zoom in here so you can see, if first, so oh, not that first. There we go. So we're looking at what the first item, so it's asking for the source. So notice it's pulling up my tables. I don't want the tables. My source is gallery two. Okay, so that's what I'm looking at. I want the first record 
in gallery two. And then notice I get an error. Well, I have to specify what items. So I'm going to hit dot. And I'm going to use all items. So I want you to look at all the items in gallery two and look at the first one. OK, now that I've told it where to look, I have to select the column that I'm looking for, the overall health rating. So this wellness is the overall health rating of the patient. So what I'm doing is I'm looking in the gallery across all the items. I'm looking for the first one. Then I'm looking for the column overall health rating, which is what I called wellness down here. This is still my test. So what am I going to say? If the overall health rating is greater, oh, let me click back in there, than three, okay? So if the overall health rating is greater than three, I want you to put icon dot emoji smile or emoji happy. If not, I want you to put the emoji sad. Then I'm going to close up that parenthesis. All right. So now I'm looking across gallery two, across all the items for the first row. OK, then I'm looking for the column overall health rating. If that is greater than three, I want you to put a smiley face. If not, I want you to put a sad face. And notice here, because Richard has five stars greater than three, he has a smiley face. So let me test this out. I'm going to check Andy. He's happy. Oh, he's sad. So because it's not greater than three, that was my condition, greater than three, he has a frowny face. Now, of course, I could put multiple conditional statements to if it was three stars, then put a neutral face, and then if it's less than three stars, put a sad face. But you can see how using these conditional statements are going to really make your app dynamic. I want to thank you for joining me, and I hope these conditional statements and the logic within it helps you to make your app more dynamic. I'll see you next time.